Hi friends, Liz here with Film Fulfilled. Thanks for tuning in. I had to do this video because I use small little gadgets around my kitchen and I thought it would be helpful for you guys to know some of the things that I use and that you should have on hand eating the start solution way. So I'm going to take you on a mini tour of things that I think are really important to have in your kitchen for when you are cooking and preparing amazing meals around starches, fruits. So first, we have fine likes the spatula, any type of spoon to mix with the bowls and so forth. And I just like these silicone ones. They, they clean really well and they have all different types. I have like probably six or seven different ones, but these are three of my favorite. fruits and vegetables with so I love Cutco and so this is like my go-to I love the size of it and I have different ones but this is literally like my go-to one all the time all the time but if I want to follow a recipe to a tea I definitely get my measuring <laughs> tools out which also includes the, these ones I love these stack ones because sometimes I just need like one cup or two cup or even four cup so these come in really really handy so highly recommend trying these out I love these metal ones and I love glass find recently. So I like to have salads at restaurants if we go out and dressings always have oil in them. So I just bring my handy dandy silicone plastic <laughs> mixer here. I mix it at home and it fits really really well in my purse. So I just usually put Dijon mustard and coconut aminos in one of these in my purse mix it up and put it on a salad with a bunch of veggies on it. So highly, highly recommend these. These are in my Amazon store. I'll link it below. I mean, I open cans all the time, so gotta have a good can opener. And this one I've had for like a really long time. So highly recommend getting one that works. And like, I feel like they break all the time, but this one, I actually have been successful in keeping it around. I currently am growing my own garlic, so this tool is really helpful. This is where it gets the outer um, peelings off of the garlic, and this you are able to smash it down. And there's it, this just like saves literally minutes upon minutes in the kitchen. If you have one of these and you like fresh garlic, I love fresh garlic. And so when I have a lot that I harvest, I will actually take it and use my tool and then I actually freeze it, um, which comes in super, super handy. I eat potatoes, <laughs> I'm sure you do too. So this is, um, so I don't even know if this is like a potato smasher, but I use it as a potato smasher where I, when I make my mashed potatoes, I just smash this 
and it's like such a nice grip on it. Like, ugh, this saves so much time as well. And you probably are seeing that a lot of this stuff saves so much time if you have the proper tools. And for me, making meals, it's really important that it's like super simple and I can get like the job done as quick as possible. veggies, slicing veggies. This one's cool because it has like a ribbed edge to it. And so it like cuts um, carrots and things like that really, really fun. Also here, this is uh, one that I will use sometimes with sushi to get like little, little um, slices of cucumber, carrots, and whatnot. So I highly recommend this. If you bought a rice cooker at any time, they probably came with these um, spoons. I just love them. Um, I love like how they feel and the amount of um, the amount of food that can go in them and I just I have actually a lot of these. All right, this one is last. This is the blender. This is a nice um, immersion blender which, um, I use in like soups and stews a lot of the time to puree it um, and I like to keep my like soups a little bit um, chunky and so I only just press this a few times and it mixes it up quite a bit but kind of leaves that satisfying um, hearty part to the soup so I highly recommend getting one of these. today's video. I would love a thumbs up. I would love to know if you have other items that I need to have that I don't know about that I need to get stocked in my kitchen. And I hope that these tools are helpful to you if you have them or if you need to get them. Keep it super simple, but had to share some of my go-to items that I use in the kitchen. Feel free to subscribe for more videos coming your way.